brilliant, my claims for life. I actually named it this way because that is what I use. I'm going to share with you my personal diet, if I can call it diet. It's the way I eat. And I'm going to read my notes. Sometimes you will see me looking sideways so I don't get off the track. <laughs> so when we talk, when you hear the diet, it is a, such a common and popular word right now. And we think about the weight loss, isn't it? So let me go on this diet and that diet. There's particular way those diets are designed to help our body release extra weight. We actually don't know what weight we're releasing. Most likely it's not fat. Muscles are actually very easy to lose. So when I talk about my cleans for health, it's really how I daily consume my foods in the way of helping my body stay clean and fresh. The other thing that I remember a long time ago when I was studying health coaching, we were given a statistic. So imagine the average percentage of people who get on the diet, how what is the percentage of those who quit six months later or before six months is over? 98%. Because diet, one of the coaches pointed, has more diet in it. You can't stay on diet for a long time. We have to find a way to have our daily diet or the way we eat in the way it's long-term and sustainable that produces long-term healthy results. And that's what I call my cleans for health. All right, so let's talk about what exactly it is. In fact, let me share the story with you. This was about 2009, a long time ago, when I just got, sometimes you hear my story, when I went on my personal journey to figure out how do I bring my health to just me, to normal me. So nutrition was one of those ways where I uh, was looking into the ways how to help my body to heal and feel better. So that cleanse was actually the diet that I tried. I'm going to introduce those words, cleanse diet. So for me, it is really the way of putting nutrition into my body, choosing what I eat. So it was the seventh day, and I remember I was really uncomfortable. I actually got sick that first day of the cleanse, but I actually stayed with it anyway, and it was really uncomfortable even to say yes. It was not pleasant to say yes to something like that, because after all, I did not eat as clean and fresh, and it was a dramatic change for me to say yes to. So stay with that, the little bit of scared and unsure, are not as bad or not allergies at all so imagine when you eat clean and fresh the body is detoxifying cleansing refreshing boosting the metabolism resetting whatever word you want to use but it's like rejuvenating itself from body mind and soul connection and since those years long time ago that is how I chose I'm going to stay in my general diet, about 80%. And I'll share with you how this particular diet looks like. But 80% is what I keep daily basis for myself. And I know when I slip, my body is going to communicate with me right away. This is funny personal story. If I don't eat clean and fresh, I get rash on my thighs. <laughs> Has anybody heard of that? So that is immediate next day, body's telling me, come on, don't get me like that. So I wonder, do you have your own signs? So here's what I'd like to invite us to, whether you already have your coach with you or you're doing your own diet. So consider this. 
This is actually, and I'm looking at my notes, here I am. So here's what includes. When we are on this particular diet process, we are consuming all nutrients and minerals that your body needs. After all, again, I'm using this 80% for my everyday nutrition. So I know my body, it's not that you are juicing, cutting calories, you're hungry, you're not all it, it's none of that. You're actually eating normally. So the first seven days, we are actually easing into, that's why it's a, not, well, it may not be easy first time because the brain is gonna still uh, try to figure out how not to do it and talk you out of it. But it's really, we are easing into by eliminating the foods that are commonly inflammatory foods, allergic foods, uh, sensitive foods like dairy, meat, gluten, processed foods, caffeine. So for seven days, we're just doing that, going lower on those foods for our body to help our body to actually get into that seven day cleanse with ease and fun, it becomes fun. And by the way, we do it together as a group. You can do it by yourself, but part of journeying together is that accountability and support. So for the next seven days, it's a step number two, we actually do the cleans where we focus on two thirds of vegetables, one third of fruit and the water. It allows body to totally detoxify, eliminate all the waste in the body and boost the metabolism and all the other benefits that I mentioned. After that seven day, we stay for two weeks and here's what we do. We start implementing foods back into the diet. Maybe you've heard uh, elimination diet, so similar to that. For the first, what we include is back into the diet protein, preferably vegetable. And I'll show you what products we use to make it simple. And then I recommend every two, three days to include foods that you ate before, and now you're including them two, three days, and here's why. We are constantly reflecting and asking the body how you feel and how is the body responding to that particular food. The goal is, again, to have this as long term. If you know your body is not liking certain foods, why do that? For example, meats. I hear this quite often. I eat protein, I mean, eat meat for protein. When you're on the diet, you realize, well, your body loves protein, but it doesn't have to be animal protein. The body is responding so much better to vegetable protein. Okay? Or eating pasta and all starchy foods. You realize that your body doesn't need as much volume. You can have maybe one tiny serving every day or every two days. It's just some examples that I hear very often. Water, or we start loving greens and more vegetables. And we have recipes along the way, we do it together. So at the end of these 30 days, you will have your way of eating. So the particular seven day diet, this second phase, we recommend to do every six months just to help the body reset. I am going to do mine as well in October. We are starting to ease into it on October the 4th, maybe plus minus one day, we decide all together. And then the actual seven days will start in, in a week. So, okay, there are two options how we can do this journey together. We do most often, that's what's recommended for the best, the most effective, the fastest results. We use Shackley products with it. It's so good to use them for seven days. It actually helps eliminate, helps the effective process of rejuvenation and cleansing. And the next, the phase three, where we include vegetable protein, protein shakes are the best. So the Shackley Healthy Cleans that you can start with Myology is actually the best way to have that process. Some people just may not be, for any reasons, they say no to either supplements or protein shakes and that is okay. You can actually do that process, the same process without Shackley products it probably will have a not as effective result because again, we're using those products to have the effect more, 
but you can do it without the products. Okay, so either way, it's very almost identical process. One is with products, one is, one is without products, and we do it together. So if you have your Shackley representative, talk to that person. Again, we are gonna start with Ease Rig on October 4th and do the cleanse afterwards. And then of course, two more weeks of uh, going with the process. If you no, don't know, or if you don't have your Shackley representative, talk to me, we will find a way for you. And let me see what else is in my notes. Okay. But commitment week is actually right now this week. So we can get all this information, understanding, clarity is important, products delivered. So we can start all together, put each other in the group and off we go into the journey. Here's why we're journeying. You are what you eat. 80% of our results is actually also from the diet. We want to treat our body that is helping us to live through this life with a fresh fuel, clean fuel. Let's utilize nutrition for the purpose it is actually created for the nature for us. And that's what it is all about. Bringing those fresh foods into your diet, doing it together, so we stay on the process, actually enjoying the process, watching your body reflecting and keeping those elements from the diet that your body really loves and you will enjoy for your ongoing long lasting results. All right, folks, this is our cleans for health process that we're going to utilize. And before you go, please let me know what speaks to you. And more than anything, let us know if you're going to join us. And again, coaching by Nadia everywhere, including YouTube, to keep up with updates and more information. I'll see you in the community.